Welcome to the Alpha Girl Confidence Podcast, where we are empowering youth female athletes to play and live confidently. My name is Shay Hatto, and each week I will bring you new episodes to teach you the strategies and tools that you need in order to live a confident, empowered life both on and off the playing field. Hey guys, what's up? And welcome back to episode 147. So before we get into all the juicy stuff in today's episode, I'm super excited to share with you something really exciting we've got going on. So we have started this new sticker subscription called the Confidence Club. So what this is, every single month you will receive in the mail physical stickers. So you're going to receive three stickers and like a confidence art print. So these are going to be really awesome because you'll be able to use these stickers as motivation, inspiration, confidence, like affirmations, quotes, like really cool things that you can put on your water bottle. So let's say you're in the middle of a game and you got a timeout or it's halftime and you see this really inspiring affirmation that helps get your head back in the game. Or let's say you put, you're a softball player and you can put it on your bat or you can put it on your bag. There's so many cool ways that you c- can use this. And we're so excited to get these out to you. And in addition to receiving the stickers and kind of the postcard a confidence print. There'll also be a video where I'm teaching you some specific cons- confidence strategies. So we're really excited about that. If you want to sign up, the link is in the show notes below, but you have to sign up before August 31st because we will send out the first round of packages on September 15th. So again, the confidence club, if you want to sign up and learn more, click the link in the show notes below. All right, let's get into today's episode. So I want to talk to you about the difference between what we think confidence is and what we've been taught versus what it really is. So I think there's been this misconception that confidence is knowing that you can do something. Confidence is like this certainty that like, you know, that what you're going to do is going to work out, but that's not real confidence. Confidence is just having the willingness to try. Even if you don't know, just having the willingness to try. So think about that for a minute, because the thing is, the reason why so many of people in general aren't confident or are not successful in what they want to be successful in is because they simply are not willing to go out and try and mess up and fail. They're just simply not willing to try to fail. And here is the thing that I really want you to get out of this is that the more you go out and you fail and you mess up and you're willing to try, the more confident you'll be because you're going to get feedback that's going to help you to become better, that's going to help you learn, that's going to help you build trust and credibility with yourself. And what I see so often is that the only thing that's really stopping you isn't necessarily your lack of confidence. It isn't somebody else. The only thing that's really stopping you is your fear, is your fear of what other people are going to think of you, your fear of like your self-doubt, right? There's just so much fear around doing things that you let that stop you. You're letting your self-doubt stop you. And when that happens, you can't truly become confident and you don't have that. So what needs to happen? Okay. It's okay to be fearful. There's no such thing as people will say, oh, she's fearless. He's fearless. I think I'm calling bull crap on that because we all have fear, but the differences between the people that do stuff and the people that don't is that they move through that fear. They don't let their self-doubt stop them. They don't let their fear of judgment stop them, right? Here's a really good example. Let's say that like every other teenage girl, you care overly what other people think about you. So instead of going out and trying this new move, you allow your fear of being judged to stop you from going out and doing that. So you are giving all of those people your power. Where on the other side of things, you can still care what people think about you, but you don't let that fear of judgment stop you from actually going out and trying and doing the move. Because when you go out and try and you do the move, it honestly does not matter if you mess up or you get it. Either way, you're going to grow and expand. Let's say if you don't get it, if you don't get the move, well, at least you did it and you can build credibility with yourself and you can say, you know, I just, I was confident enough to just go try. I 
thought that maybe, you know, I could do it and thought maybe there's a chance that I can't do it, but that doesn't matter. What I'm proud of is that I went and out and I did it anyways. Right. So you, number one, you're going to build credibility with yourself. And number two, you're either going to get the outcome that you wanted, or you'll, you can take that and you can learn from it. But on the other end, if you let that self-doubt and that fear of judgment stop you, there's always going to be a part of you in the back of your mind that says, why can't I just go out and do it? I can, I can't do this. There's going to be a part of you that doesn't trust yourself to go out and try new things and do new things. And that can eat away at your confidence long-term. So remember that confidence, true confidence, isn't knowing that you can do something, but it's just having the willingness to try. And every single person, no matter who you are, is capable of trying. You don't have to be the most talented, the fastest, the strongest, the biggest. You just have to be willing to try. When you're willing to try, everything else will take care of itself. So ask yourself, what have I been not doing recently just because of my fear? What has, what has fear stopped me from doing that I really want to go out and try and do? Once you've identified that thing, go out and do it and realize that it's going to be uncomfortable. Realize that it's not probably going to, to feel good. But when you can move through that discomfort of feeling fear and of feeling nerves and of feeling judgment, that's where the magic happens. That's where your confidence is going to grow and going to blossom. Your mindset's going to expand all of the things. All right. So I hope this episode helped you again. If you want to sign up for the confidence club where we're going to have amazing, you know, trainings and we're going to have those really cool stickers. Um, there's even some examples on the page so you can kind of see what you're going to get in the mail. But again, hope this episode helped you. If it did share it with a friend, leave us a review on iTunes and remember don't let other people take away your power. You get to decide what you do or what you don't do. So be willing to try because that's the only thing that matters. All right, I'll catch you next week.